Hi, GV friends. Today, here with us, you can see that we have a great member of the GV family from LCR on the team, Mr. Taka Nakagami. Taka, how are you? I'm good. Uh, first of all, I'm good to see you and uh, also GV family. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm good. And now I'm preparing for the, you know, the last minutes of the first race in Qatar. And now I feel really, really good and competitive. So, yeah, I'm totally good. Great, great. First of all, thanks a lot for the time you are dedicating to us. We know that you are already really, really busy for the season. <laughs> and thanks, uh, th really thanks. Thanks a lot. No, thank you too. It's good. I'm my it's nice. uh, it's pleasure. Always a very great opportunity to spend some time together. Uh, at least on mm -hmm. uh, on a video on a video call, but we yeah. really have to enjoy some time during the season. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you. First of all, Taka, this is the your fifth season in yeah. uh, LCR uh, with the LCR team. How do uh, how do you feel it? How can you um, after five five years can you call LCR mm -hmm. like part of your family? Of course, you know, uh, this 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 season gonna be my fifth year and it's already fifth year. It's, it's quite, uh, you know, the time is so fast, but uh, I'm, you know, all, I'm really, I mean, uh, really comfortable with uh, this team, this, uh, you know, my team members, team staff, and of course, uh, team manager from Lucho and uh, he, you know, he takes takes me, you know, take care of myself and all everything and, uh, you know, doing the test and also doing the season. Also, after the race, he, you know, uh, always uh, I spoke with him and, you know, he always helps a lot. So, yeah, it's, you know, this is a, a kind of big family and I'm really, really, you know, I'm happy to stay with this team. So amazing feeling that there is already fifth year. Taka, you know that uh, not only us, but a lot of uh, uh, people is uh, loving you and loves you and follow you mm -hmm. constantly. And we see that on your social pages, you mm -hmm. usually practice a lot uh, in terms of sports, mm -hmm. gym, and not only uh, motorbikes. Uh, how much is important to for you? And in this sport, to to train your body and constantly. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, every year you know uh, the bike is changing, and also the lap time is going faster and faster. It's mean for the physically, it's like a more demanding. Um, I mean, uh, to prepare more, uh, I need to like a little bit modify or a little bit more weight uh, of my body and uh, more endurance. And so it's mean like I do. Of course, like a workout in the gym, like a basic, uh, you know, uh, weight training and also some core training and also some uh, balance of, you know, balance training and also swimming and uh, bicycle, of course, for endurance outside. And uh, other thing that uh, I used to I uh, using like a flat track bike is no motocross I, because I mean, I. I cannot say I don't like it, but it's, I'm not good level, you know, for the motocross. So I decide to, you know, don't take a risk because uh, during the season or, you know, I need to practice and then I don't have time to, you know, to little by little. So it's better to use a flat, flat track bikes. It's mean like a no jump and just uh, on the sand and uh, just, you know, try to, uh, to train in about uh, the control on the bike. So it's uh, many things, but uh, yeah, I'm physically it's totally good. I'm really happy what I have uh, my physical condition up now. And uh, it was good, but uh, you know, every day we need to keep training quite hard. And then, you know, sun normally Sunday a little bit less and the Monday have to uh, restart again. So almost never stop. Very good. Very good. Winter test just finished. Mm -hmm. uh, first Sepang and then uh, Mandalika. Your your impression about 2022 bike? There there are a lot mm -hmm. of improvement we see. Yeah. And 
what your what your feeling first thing that the as you can see that from the outside our bike uh, 2022 bike is uh, a great change yeah big change you can see that from the outside easy easily and also inside which is when i when i ride a bike and new bike which is a uh, different feeling i mean uh First impression was uh, okay. This is I need to understand. I need to adapt uh, this different feeling. But uh, day by day or lap by lap, I I start to understood that, that this bike had have a uh, big potential. So it's me much better bike than uh, last year's bike. And uh, you know, last year's 2021 bike was uh, you know our Honda is a little bit uh, weak point was uh, rear grip. And everybody was the same comment, and uh, it was quite difficult to find a solution. But uh, yeah, this year's bike, 2022 bike, is a uh, huge difference and a big improvement about uh, the rear grip. So yeah, I'm quite happy and a big surprise when I when I jump on the bike because uh, you know totally different feeling. But uh, I'm you know everybody's uh, positive comment also. Uh, you know, we as well. So um, I, I can't wait, uh, you know, the first race in Qatar, you know, after uh, Sepang test and also Mandarika test, we are, you know, definitely step-by-step step improving. And um, I can say that we are ready to, you know, to make a successful uh, season in, in 2022. And we hope so. Yeah. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Uh, we know that Asian fans and supporters mm -hmm. are, crazy you know mm -hmm. <laughs> like, and so so much crazy mm -hmm. uh, tell us what try what tricks the most uh, what what was uh, impressive well, uh, yeah um one thing that the, a few 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 weeks ago first time i went to indonesia and for the mandarika test and uh, yeah from when landed in Rombok Airport is already, you know, the fund is waiting and also a lot of fans uh, in the paddock and also grandstand and uh, it's nice to see and uh, yes, you know, it's different between like a Japanese fan and uh, Indonesia and the Malaysian fans, also Thai fans and the Japanese fan is a little bit more like, uh, I don't know how I can say that, a little bit more shy. I think, but uh, Indonesia fans is like uh, a little bit more European style, and but it's not really really nice to see. I'm, I mean, very, like uh, they are very warm welcome, so I'm super happy. And uh, you know, I I didn't expect because I don't know uh, Indonesian fans, you know, like this. And but in Mandalika, I can see that, and so I'm really really. Excited to go again in uh, Mandarika in March. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Taka, we are doing, we are running such a kind of uh, survey about mm -hmm. the LCR uh, hospitality. Uh -huh. but, but you have to be very, very honest with me. Okay. Is it true that it's the best hospitality in MotoGP about the food? I think so. I believe that it is and because uh, um, you know, everybody said that, you know, LCL hospitality is the best. And uh, of course, I never try different manufacture of the the hospitality, but uh, I, I don't know, I, I can I can say that uh, this is true or not, but uh, compared to HLC, it's, uh, LCL is better. I mean, uh, it's more like Italian food because I love the Italian food and always uh, uh, incredible, good uh, in pasta and uh, some risotto and uh, the everything italian food is amazing and uh, the problem is in that you know during the weekend is is too good so i can't stop and maybe some some day or some you know sometimes i eat too much and then after a few hours i felt like oh i eat, i eat too much and then i have to manage but anyway like this i'm i'm Super happy, and uh, the, our hospitality is. I think I, I believe that I believe that is number one. <laughs> great, great, uh, Taka. 
it was just um, a curiosity from my side. Uh, during the weekend, Friday, mm -hmm. Saturday, and Sunday, what about your lunch time, your dinner? Uh, mm -hmm. Everything, I guess, is um, uh, combined with the race. Yeah. yeah. How, how does it work? Well, uh, normally, of course, Friday and Saturday, a little bit uh, different timing. So uh, I need to adjust. But uh, normally, Friday, for example, Friday after the F between FP1 and FP2, I normally have to eat uh, uh, lunch. So around uh, 12.30 and uh, then Saturday is a little bit earlier around uh, 11.45 uh, and then dinner is around 8 or 7.30 normally. It depends uh, mechanics and mechanics, you know, able to finish a little bit earlier. We take our lunch together around 7.30. If not, uh, I wait them and uh, around 8 p.m. But normally dinner time is 7.30 or around 8. And uh, before the race, around eight, 11, uh, sorry, uh, before the race, 12 o'clock, normally I eat a uh, little bit pasta. And that's it. Then after the race, I ate uh, a lot. It's, you know, a like uh, the big, big, big lunch, you know. <laughs> you have to recharge. Yeah, yeah of course. You have to recharge your batteries. You know, Sure. You know, I, I don't care about the weight, you know, I, I need, you know, I need like a big hamburger or I don't know about the steaks, you know, I need like some big energy. <laughs> the fantastic tiramisu. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. And to be honest, the week, also the weekend, like, for example, th Thursday or Friday, Saturday, I ask them like, uh, hey, you have a tiramisu or not? And they, <laughs> some, some weekend they prepare and some we cannot so i'm really sad if they don't have it but uh and next day sometime they prepare so they, then they makes me happy <laughs> good good uh taka um just closing this nice um interview with you what expectation do you have for for the season that is just mm -hmm. starting so yeah um well i'm and I, I just said before that I'm super ready to, you know, I'm ready for this season and especially Qatar and uh, great test, uh, Sepang and Mandarico. So first of all, I'm, I can wait the uh, first race in Qatar. And then of course we need to understand where we, where, where we are positioned. But anyway, this, this season is, for me is so important. So, uh, yeah, my target is, you know, a couple of victories and a lot of podiums. And, uh, yeah, I can say that, you know, I want to, to fight for the championship. So this is the main target for this season. And uh, I believe that we can do it because uh, we have a great bike and great team and a great team, my, uh, my team staff. So, yeah, we need to, you know, put it together and then uh, do it maximum and hopefully, you know, a successful uh, season for, for us. Thanks a lot for, for your time, Taka. Good no luck for, for this season. We really want to see you on podium. Of course. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Could you say a, a special Arrivederci, a special ciao to all your gv supporters <laughs> well yes um first of all um big thanks to all your support and i'm really really appreciated your support so yeah this season i believe that uh, i promise you that you know we 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 can share that uh, the great race and also great victory or podiums and with all my team so finger crossed and uh, hopefully I can see you on track and also some races in, uh, in Italy. Grazie. Thanks a lot, Taka. <laughs> see you soon. Thanks for your you. time. Thank ciao, you. Bye. Ciao, ciao.